Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully insert our all the products. So we successfully insert our product name, the product code, the details, and also with the images. So now in this video, I want to discuss about that edit option. So if you want to update your product, then how can do that work? In this video, I will show you that things with a live example. For doing this, we have to do, we have to work in our that action area. That means this edit. So I just define that edit in our product index page. So now go to our product index page into the product index page they have some of the action and here you can see that is our edit so first of all here for this one i want to do i want to define one of the url so here i just simply define that url as a url and then i just simply define url2 and here i want to create one of the url in particular that area as a edit okay edit product so this type of one of the URL I want to create and also here one things we have to edit it by a specific one of the ID okay because you can see if you go to our database and if you now refresh it and for every product that have some of the ID that is a one ID the two ID three ID and the four ID so now if you want to edit it then you have to edit it a specific one of the ID product right so now we have to define one of the ID so here after that I want to define that ID so in right now i am already in our for each and into the for each i have already get all the data from our product table right i already get all the data and take the things with this variable and now i just define that as pro so with this pro i want to access our id that means in our product table in our products table they have the field as an id so i want to access it okay so now with this product so with this product i want to access our field name our field name as an id perfect so now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page like here i just refresh it and now if you put your cursor you can see it's now showing as a product 2 id that is a 3 id and there is a 4 id so now we have to update it with a specific one of the id so for the reasons here i define that id okay so now we have to do we have to create this url so we have to create this url in our route area that means here so better that will be as a gate so i just simply paste it and now we don't need this name because here i define that our url so i just simply copy it so i just copy that url and now here i just simply define that url and also we have to define that id so we have to defining it so i just simply define that id and this id uh, here i define one of the id right so this id i just defining it and now in our product controller i want to create one of the method as edit so i just simply define one of the method as edit so now i just want to do and create this method in our product controller go to our product controller so that is our method as a store method and after this okay i just simply define as a public and then function and our method so you simply define that method and into this method they have one of the id because here you can see i define one of the id so we have to take this id so in our that method area i just simply define that id okay and now first of all what exactly i want to do i want to get our specific one id data okay i want to get one specific one id data from our products table so if first of all i want to take that that part so for the reasons here i take one of the variable as a product and then i just simply define the db and the table from which table i want to get it i want to get it from our products table right so that is our products table that means this products table I just simply define that product table and here we have to define one of the condition like where so I just have to define that condition where our ID that means our they have the field okay like in our database in our product table they have done the ID so this ID will be matched with our requested ID if you put your cursor you can see they have some of the ID so this ID will be matched with our this table ID so I want to define that part so here i define our database field name so our database field as an id it should be matched with our this requested id so i just simply added that requested id so when it should be matched i want to do i want to get one data so for the reasons here i define as a fast okay i want to get one fast data so i just simply added that fast data so here i get our specific fast data and take that things with this variable right so now i want to pass it with one of the pays so I just simply define the return and then I define on the view page. 
so here i have already created one of the view page for the edit you can see that is actually the edit page so by right now that is actually totally blank so now that is in our products folder into the products folder that is our edit so i just simply define our products okay i put products folder into the products folder i have another page as edit so i just simply define that edit and also i get all the data so now we have to compact it because here you can see I get all that our fast data, take the things with this variable. So now I want to use it in our edit page for the reasons I just compact. And now simply here I pass all that our fast data. Okay. So it's pretty much simple things here I define. So now we can actually access our fast data and visible it in our edit page. So now go to our edit page. So that is our edit page. So this page will be just like our create page. Okay. Uh, it should be just like that same i just simply copy all the things from here and i just simply paste it so now we have to update our this edit page so that is our edit okay and now there is some of the routes we have to create some of the different routes so right now we don't need this i just remove it and now i just first of all name that our that page as the edit okay edit product so that is edit product and there is a back button so it should be redirected to our index page perfect and then our form so now here i want to do i want to visible all that our fast data okay i want to visible all that our fast data a specific product name the code and the details so i want to visible it so if you want to visible it it's pretty much simple things that you have to do like there is our product name so right now we don't need that placeholder i just remove it and here if you want to visible it you can visible it with the value so here i just simply define that value okay so with this value so from if you go to our controller i get all the data and take the things with this variable right so here i just pass it so now with this variable i can actually access our specific one id data so now with this product i want to use it because here i just pass it with this compact so now we can use it in our edit page so now go to our edit page and so now with this product with this product i want to vis display our field name so for the product field name that is our product field name okay and also i just simply copy it and that is our another one so i just remove that placeholder and here i just simply paste it so this will be as a product code and then the another one as a details and for the details i have to do the same things okay so here that is our in our text area so into the text area i have to define that part like here we don't need to add that value so here i just simply add that part so with this product i want to display our details so i just simply define the details and then our images so here if you if you want to visible your old image because right now they have also a specific one of the id they have some of the images right so if you display that our old image then you can also do that work better i just copy it okay i just copy it and i just take another field so here i want to visible it like as a product old image okay so i have already one of the old image so for the old image like uh, in our index page maybe i display okay in our index page i display our product logo that means here you can see that is actually the image so better i just copy that image okay i just copy it and now in our edit page here i want to display it so i just simply paste it so it will be as an image src url2 so before that was pro and right now for this one i just pass that things with this product right so now we have to display it with this product like here i define that with this product so with this product i want to define that logo and for the logo here i define that uh, one of the size okay so as a 700 and then 8 800, 800 80 pixel so that will be display our old image with a specific this id old image and then our image perfect so now let's check this out i just click on the save all i just click on the save all and now if you go here click on the refresh and now like a specific or this one i want to update like click on the edit yes now you can see it's now perfectly detected with this specific id that means this name that is a code that is a details and also our old image is now perfectly visible right so now if you go in the go back and here there is a, this one is another one click on the edit yeah product name code details the images our old image is perfectly visible so now friend i want to do i want to update that part 
Like if you want to update that our product name, the product code, the product details, and also if you want to update the new image. And here I want to do when you upload any new image, our old image will be removed from our folder. Okay, like that all the data is saved in our media. So it will be removed also from to this position. So the how can do that work, how can update that portion in our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.